Retro Robbie here with a card break opening. Uh, the vintage kind, you know, as you know, Retro Robbie likes retro cards. So we got here is 2020 Universal Treasures. Uh, they're Rax Packs. There's four of them. Um, it ranges from 52 to 86 per box. So um, you get uh, Ken Griffey Jr. and a Frank Thomas in every box. So we'll be seeing those chance for some vintage packs some autographs um you know a lot of vintage cards uh throughout all this uh 10,000 boxes this is the halloween edition so there is candy in here so you get a little treat with your cards as well so uh we'll take a peek here uh let's see here uh, it's number 20 2047 out of 10,000 so let it open this up and see what we get. So looking really forward to doing these. I love these kinds of things. And the cards are pretty good for, for the vintage ones. So um, I am a huge vintage card collector. So, uh, you know, I'm very excited for this one. So let's see what we get here. I'll break the seal there. And let's see. All right. Oh, so it looks like we got a pack. So we got one with with the pack. I can't tell which that is. Oh, 88. So nothing spectacular there. They made a, a ton of 88s. That's for sure. But the first one looks pretty decent there with a 59 um, and a George Brett. So the first one's not bad. So like that one pretty much. Um, see here, the second one. Looks like we got a tiger there. Love my tigers and cubs. So... Uh, we got 64 and a Tom Seaver. And the third pack. Wow, we got some good stuff in here. 75, I can't see, a 60 or 86 Will Clark and a 62 Cubs. Nice. And the last pack here is, wow, this is, this is a decent box here. The top there we got a Ricky Henderson and a 1960 Cal McGillich. So we'll start with this one here. Um, again, these are you know, kind of racks packs, so it's kind of neat. Um, kind of got the candy there uh, as well. So let's go to the first one. So the first one we got is an 84 Ricky Henderson, so that's not bad. Uh, very nice. Um, ooh, 72, Daryl Brandon. So 72 are my set. I'm trying to collect that whole set, and I almost have it. So maybe one of these videos I will show my 72 set. So uh, it looks like a... Second or third series, Daryl Brandon, 72. So, 1980, Ed Halicki, Jim Mason, nice 82, Gary Carter, uh, a 73, Dick Billings, uh, 82, Mariners, Ken Clay. Oh, nice Reggie Jackson, 79, Reggie Jackson. So, that's a nice one to get. A little off-centered, but overall, it's uh, pretty good there. John Curtis. From 78, John Henry Johnson uh, from 81. And it looks like oh, we're going to get an 82 rookie. No, Steve Balboni, and I, remember, I recognize that name. Uh, Yankees Future Stars from 82. And a Lou Pinella from 81. So, first pack, really not bad. I'm kind of liking it. So, I'll open the second one up here. It is. The 1960 we're looking at right on the top there, so very nice. Don't have that many 60s. Uh, from the Reds, Cal McLish. Uh, I'll take a, take a peek back there. Uh, looks like a first series one, so not bad. Uh, 84, Eddie Murray. Uh, Tigers pitcher, John Hiller from 79. 77, Bill Grief. Oh, nice. 1983, Tim Raines. Well, that's a nice one. 84, Fran Healy from the Royals. Uh, Astros team card from 1980. And, oh, nice. 1986, Jose Canseco. Traded series, so that's his rookie card. Extended rookie card. That was not a bad pull. Very nice. Uh, Cesar Geronimo. Uh, Tigers, 81, Duffy Dyer. Uh, 83, Don Money. And ended off was a 84 tops all star card, George Brett. So, again, second pack, not bad either. 
So go over here and pull the third one of this one. And start out with an 86 Mike Schmidt. Very nice. Randy Jones, 79. Very underrated in the 70s. He was a great pitcher. Uh, unfortunately played for a bad team in the 70s, but man, he was a good pitcher for the for the Padres. Uh, 1980 Warren Bostar, uh, 77 Bob Tolan. Uh, nice, 83 Robin Yonth. Uh, 1978 Dick Williams, it's manager card. Very uh, <laughs> semi-missed cut there, but hey. Take what we get there. Frank White, 1982. And there is our one guaranteed uh, Frank Thomas there from 1990. So, uh, 1981, Daryl Thomas. Uh, Joe Morgan, Super Veterans from 1983. And right behind that is a Carlton Fisk, 83, All-Star card. So, first pack, uh, very nice. Uh, very nice Kind of like I like how they do these. It's kind of nice. Uh, it was about one hundred fifty dollars uh, retail, so um, I, I kind of like it because you know I collect the vintage cards more. Um, you know you can't you know buying you know try to buy a pack of sixty twos. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> it's gonna cost you a mint. So uh, first one is an eighty or six. I'm oh, sorry, sixty two. Uh, Don Elston. Very nice. Oh, that's a higher number two. So a higher series one. So a little less common ones. So this is the back of that from 62. So I uh, don't have that one. So very nice. Another Robin Young. This is one from 85. Uh, Phil Gardner from the Pirates, 79. 85, Eddie Murray. So very nice one as well. And look at that. Uh, 63. So, wow, 62 and a 63 in the same pack. This one is... Ike DeLac, uh from the Boston Red Sox pitcher. That's it's you know it looks like a first series, but um, very nice. A little off centered, but overall the cards in really decent condition. So not bad there at all. Uh, Rich Gedman, eighty three Red Sox. Um, Daryl Thomas, seventy three. Uh, eighty five Jeff uh, Mike Jeff Cope, and. Uh, 76 Glenn Bergman and a George Foster from 82. Another 82 White Sox Jim Morrison and Mickey Rivers from 1978. So not a bad one there. Two very vintage cards. So again, happy with that. Um, go through here and let's start out with 86 Will Clark. And that's the extended. So that's his rookie card as well. So Another 86 rookie. This one's Will Clark. Not a bad one. Uh, Cardinals Pete Vukovic. Vukovic, yeah, sorry, from the 79 Cardinals. And there he is again from 82 for the Brewers. So double Pete Vukovic's in a row. Uh, 1983 highlight, Ricky Henderson. Ooh, that one unfortunately has a little crease. Uh, that's sad. But it's an 84. Uh, 1977 Rick Manny. Indians, uh, Bobby Cox, uh, manager card from 1983, and 1984, Joel Coleman from the Tigers. Al Howell, 1981, a record breaker from 85, Steve Garvey, and 78, let's miss cut bad again. <laughs> 78s are miss cut pretty good there. Uh, Steve Henderson from the Mets, and another rookie, all star rookies. Mark Coley, Dave Ford, Wayne Kruszewski, 1980. And I finished off in 82, Warren Brustar. So, final pack of Racks Packs number two. So, I hope you like these. I have another one coming in the way uh, from another company, um, another vintage opening. So if you like these, give me a thumbs up or comment below. Um, I love opening these things, and I love sharing them with you guys as well. So let's start it off with a 75 Duffy Dyer. So very nice one. Love the 70s when they did the spray-painted hat. It's so obvious. It's hilarious. Hey, Rock Reigns. Uh, Tim Reigns, 82 Expos. Very nice. Um, yeah, I, 
I don't know that don't know if that's his rookie card or not, but very nice. Uh, 79 Moose Haas, uh, 82 Red Carew, 77 Bob uh, Stinson, again with the uh, <laughs> airbrush hat of the Mariners. Uh, 83 Juan Benicas, uh, 74 John Milner, uh, 82, double 81 here. Looks like first one's Ken Landrex from the Twins, and then a Bucky Dent all star card with uh, the Yankees. And not the Maguire, unfortunately, but USA team from 85, John Hoover. And then ended off there, uh, Reggie Smith from the Dodgers, 1980 top. So not bad at all. So halfway through here, so uh, some pretty good cards, actually. So going through here, going through the uh, third pack here, opening the third one here. Start out with the 1984 Tom Seaver. Uh, so not bad there. And a 74. Five World Series game two, um, nice. Dodgers versus Oakland. A little miscut there. You can see the white there, but other than that, not too bad. Good condition. Uh, Eighty-one Steve Nicosia. And oh wow, uh, fifty-nine, sixty. No, sixty-one. I am pretty sure that's a 61. Yep, it is the Tigers manager, Bob Sheffing. So very nice. I'm happy to get that car. It is a little off-centered. You know, you're not going to get PSA 10s with these, but it's good to add to your collection these kinds of cards. You know, 61, Bob uh, Sheffling manager card. Very, very happy with that. Uh, next is 81, Clint Hundle. Another Gary Carter from 85. 76 Mario Guerrero from the Cardinals. 82 Jim Rice. Very nice. Ah, another of those 77s airbrush Mariners hat. Dick Pohl uh, from the Mariners. And another another one. Um Ken Brett, George Brett's brother, if I recall. Uh 74 from the Pittsburgh Pirates. And another Gary Carter. So Gary Carter pack here. This one's 83. And then the last one is Ted Sizemore, 1980 from the for the Red Sox. So very nice. I'm very happy with that grouping there, especially with that 61 Tigers manager card. Even though it's off centered, but hey, I don't have many, I don't have many 61s, so um, nice to add that. And starting with the you know going with the vintage group here, uh, you know 1960. Four Red Sox starting out. Roman Majus, outfielder there. Uh, that's an 83 stolen base leaders. Ricky Henderson, Tim Raines. And oh, nice first 71 here. 71 Boots Day from the Expos. Uh, 83 Gary Rowanick. And a nice 84 Carl Ripken All Star card. So that's a nice card to get. It's his second or his third year card. Uh, very nice. Uh, next one is uh, 1979, Leon Roberts from the Mariners. And there is our Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, from 1989, top straighted set. So very nice, Ken Griffey Jr. So not a nice one to have there. Nice card. Uh, next one is 77, Alan Foster. Oh, there's a Pete Rose, 1983. Well, he's with the Phillies. So very nice. Pete Roses are always good to have. Jose Morris from 1982, Oreos. And 1984, Jim Palmer. So lots, as you can see, there's lots of Hall of Famers in here. You know, they're later in the years, but, you know, they're still good to have. Uh, and last card here is a Whitey Herzart card for the Royals in 1978. So, again, very nice uh, overall grouping there. So I'll open the last one up here. Up. Rax Packs number three. Well, oh. yeah, Richie Hebner starting it off for the Tigers, 1981. Very nice. Carlton Fisk. Another, we're not getting a lot of Carlton Fisks in this box here. So this one's a 1983, the regular one. Uh, next one, another White Sox card from 79, Wilbert Wood. Uh, 1983, Danny Darwin. 
Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, Alan Trammel, 1983. Good for my Tigers collection. So, very nice Alan Trammel card. Very happy to get that one. Rick Honeycutt from 1979, Mariners. And next one is Vita Blue from 1981. And an all-star card of Frank White from 1980 for the Royals. Ah, uh, 78, Doug Bear. And they got another Future Stars from 1980. Larry Anderson, Bobby Collier, and Sandy Whittle. I don't know any of those. And last one is a 78 Foyd Bannister. So, very nice. Getting our last one here. Uh, move these aside here. Oops. Put these aside here. Um, so, very last one. This is the one with the pack. Cut the candy out. Don't want that. We will start off with, uh, let's see here. It looks like, do we get cards as well as the pack? Nope, you just get the pack. So I don't know if that's a good deal. <laughs> it's uh, 1988, probably one of the worst years you can get. 88s and 89s, they were not good years to get uh collecting very overproduced um yeah i want much you more can you say about that um unfortunately there's the gum uh maybe if you dare me one of these days i will eat the gum <laughs> take a bite for it <laughs> gross me out there but let's see what the 88s produce for us there's the stains so you, you know you automatically get two cards that you know, between that the dave henderson there with the wax you know like unfortunate but hey that's what we had to live with when i was a child you know 88 you know i was only you know 15 16 years old so you know that's all you got were these kind of cards <laughs> i'll start with the indians uh we got the dave henderson from the giants uh indians carmen castillo res jeff montgomery expos mitch webster uh claudel washington for the yankees mike hart uh rick shoe and whoops, there is, wait a minute here, Willie Randolph, that was the gum stained one, so there's our gum stain. And why didn't they, you know, put these inserts in on the ends? Never could figure that out. Oh, you could save a card. What were Tops thinking? Anyways, <laughs> rambling off there, uh, we got an all-star of Willie Randolph. Oh, look at that, man, it's like all creased up, that's sad. Ah, uh, Luis Salazar, Padres, team leaders uh, from the Cardinals. Doesn't say who that is. I know one's, I think that's red. Uh, I don't know who the other one is. Maybe Tony Pena kind of looks like Tony Pena. Not sure. Uh, twin Steve Lombardozzi and Doug Jones. No, I don't know if that's his rookie card or not. Jeff Stone and ended up with a nice Cubs Sean Dunstan. So nothing really there. But there really is nothing for 1988, unfortunately. But always fun to open. Let's get back to the real cards here. <laughs> ah, the nice start out with the George Brett. Uh very nice. And we go from there to 75. Wilbur Howard of the Astros. Uh, Joel Morgan from 1983. Uh, 79, Stan Bison, Bison, uh, and then 83, Charlie Liebert for the Reds, and nice 72 again, Sid O'Brien, I know that's a low series, uh, yep, it's series one, series two, Andre Dawson, again, for the Expos, 85, and 77, manager card of Roy Hartsfield, so a lot of manager cards in this group, I think it was my fourth or fifth one. Fergie Jenkins of 1982. Uh, Jenny Briggs, 73. Brewers. Ah, nice one. Danny Ange, when he played baseball briefly. Better known for being the basketball player for the Celtics. But I don't think that's his rookie card. I think he had an 81. But very nice, Danny Angie. Um, I like that one. Good. Glad to have that one. Uh, 1974, Steve Bry of the Twins. 1980, Ron Hassey. And yeah, nice Johnny Bench from 1979. That's a good one to have. All-star card there. Always good to have. 
1982, Steve Nikasa. Uh, 1982, Dodgers, Mike Socia. And he finished it off here with 81, Larry Hissel. So, very nice. Very last one. Take a peek at this last one. Hey, if you like these videos, uh, give me a thumbs up or comment below what you think about this. So we got good ones, got bad ones. You know, I, I think overall, I think I did a good job. A lot of vintage ones in here. More vintage than I thought there would be. Um, of course, you're, you're going to get a lot of the 83s, 84s, 85s, of course. Um, but here, here's the big one there. Dick Gray, 1959. Yep, 59. 244 numbered it's not a bad card you know it's slightly off centered you know but the corners are in pretty decent shape other than being off centered you know it's not a bad card to have you're not going to grade it but you know it's good to, for any set filler that's for sure uh, 85 pete rose highlight record breaker uh 1979 mike garman and a 1982, sorry, 82, Carl Yaskremski. A nice one there. Very nice. Uh, 79, Cesar Geronimo. Uh, 83, Mike Scott. Uh, there's another Reggie, late, late in his career. That's the 86. I don't know if that's maybe close to the last year or so for that one. Uh, 77, Rangers, Jeff Turpko. And another Pete Rose. This is the Pete Rose pack. Another this one's 86. So 282 Pete Rose is in this pack. 74 Bill Russell. Rod Carew, another Hall of Famer. This is for 84. Like I said, a lot of late Hall of Famers in here. And we got Jack Billingham from 78. And very nice, very, very nice Barry Bonds rookie card. Like it very much. That's a nice one to have. Pretty decent shape. Love that card. Very nice card of Barry Bonds. Oh. Uh, finish it up here. Got a couple more. 78, Rick Ch Childs. And 1980, Eddie Putman. Boy, I'm a Tigers fan. Even I don't know him. Well, he didn't play much. That's for sure. 21, 21 games for the Tigers, 17 for the Cubs, and R5. So he looks like a journeyman type of player. Catcher, first baseman. Vita Blue in action. Two, oh, we're going to get two Vita Blues in a, or two in actions in a row. Next one is Frank Wyatt. And the last one is an 85 Kevin Gross. So that is it for this National Treasures Racks Pack pickup. Well, let me know what you think. Did I get any good deals there? I really like that manager card from 61 for the Tigers. Um, of course, that Barry Bonds is in there as well. You know, again, some... Uh, Late Hall of Famers in here. That's the 84 Jim Palmer. Just kind of throwing some in there. Mike Schmidt, you know, got another late year. Um, you know, kind of going through here. There's the Jose Canseco rookie card. So, you know, again, not super, you know, I mean, quite a bit of those, but still not a bad deal to get in these cards. Uh, Gary Carter, 82. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, National Treasures 2020 Halloween box. So, again, if you like these videos, if you like these breakings, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. I plan to do another vintage one here in the next couple days. Um, hope you like it. And remember, collect what you love. I thought I'd do a wrap up on this uh, 2020 Universal Treasures uh, box. Um, let's see, I just highlighted by the years. They just put on tops here. Looks like the most I got were the seven or the 82s. Of course, we got the pack of 88s that ended up being nothing. Sean Dunson probably being the best one in the group. Um, but yeah, there's some decent cards in here. Carl Yaskremski, 82. The 84 Carl Ripken uh, All-Star card, uh, Pete Rose, uh, 83. The, of course, the rookie Barry Bonds card, very nice to have. Um, you know, just highlighting some of the ones. So, of course, as you remember, you get the free Frank Thomas in the every box, and you also get the Ken Griffey Jr. And highlight some of the older ones that were in the box, this 
my favorites. The 72's got a Phillies Daryl Brandon. Also a, a 72 Sid O'Brien. We got a 71 Expos Boots Day. And a 64 Roman Maez. And we got, of course, nice, the very nice Cubs Don Elston from 63. Uh, 62 Ike DeLock for the Boston Red Sox. And, of course, I really like this one uh, for my collection going to be. 61 Bob Shefflin, the manager for the Tigers. And we got 60 Carl McLish. Didn't realize this. It has the Indians photo there. And he's playing for the Cincinnati Reds. So it must have been a change. I'm going to assume it's not an error card or anything like that. I might look into that in more detail later. But And then, of course, we got the nice Dick Gray uh, 1959 uh top so vintage so let me know what you think uh, again i might open another one of these let me know if you like it universal treasures 2020 the halloween edition um again if you like this leave a comment give me a thumbs up and i will do more of these again retro robbie remember collect what you love